Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Wood, but you might know me as Minolta1034. And today, I wanted to talk to you about the people that make Halo. That's right, Bungie. No wait, 343. Ah, damn, I screwed up. <laughs> All right, and so while I'm yakking at you guys, enjoy this Fiesta gameplay from uh, some time with the main streamers that didn't actually make it onto the mainstream. So what did I want to talk to you guys about with 343 is essentially like, are they a good company? Are they the ones that you want in charge of Halo? And why I would say that they are. Now, a lot of people say, oh, you know, Minolta, you just suck on 343. There's, you think they're so good, blah, 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 blah. I don't know if that's exactly true. I mean, if you ask me, I'll tell you, Halo 4, that was a bad Halo game. You know, MCC, they totally botched that thing up, and it still doesn't completely work. But, of course, they're focusing on Halo 5 now, which, in my opinion, is actually a pretty good Halo game. I've heard a lot of people over the years say, oh, 343 sucks, let's get rid of them, they're the worst, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, what, what is so bad about them, right? I mean, absolutely, especially early on, they had no idea what they were doing. Oh, wait, excuse me, teabag, 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 teabag makes you good. Especially early on, they, they didn't have, you know, they didn't have their shit together, 100%. But I would say that, uh, you know, I can't fault them for making mistakes. Uh, you know, everyone makes mistakes. Humans, we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. And, and so the fact that they put out a bad Halo game, you know what? It's, it's not the end of the world. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, right in the face. I'm going to go on a spree here. I think I'm going to kill that guy too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I go on quite the sniper run in this game. So anyway, back to what I was saying. 343 had kind of two big failures, right? Halo 4, which was a game that was, I think, failed because they, they didn't really know what they were doing yet. They were a young company, and, and they just they tried all this crazy, ambitious stuff before they really even understood what Halo was. And, but I don't think that that was necessarily malicious. It wasn't like Halo 4 was created solely for economic reasons or, or just to pump out a Halo game. It was created, you know, to hopefully be the next great Halo game. And, and if you look at any of the media or interviews with anybody, at that time, absolutely, that's what they thought they were making. They really thought that they had a great game on their hands, because nobody wants to make a crappy game. That wasn't what their intention was at all. But, you know what? It was a crappy game. It wasn't very good. Nobody played it. And that's the reason that we're here at Halo 5. It's because the fans pushed back and they said, guys, this is not what a Halo game is supposed to be. And 343, they listened. You know, and, and they're a company that does listen. And you could have a company like uh, the guys that make, uh, you know, some, some of the other first-person shooters, you know, maybe the, the Call of Duties and things like that, that maybe are just more concerned about pumping out a new game every year rather than, you know, listening and iterating and, and making great games, which I would argue is, is something that 343 is trying to do. Now, let's talk about 343's other great failure, MCC. Right? That game, although it was uh, a grand idea, it definitely didn't work out. Now, again, this is a, a, a thing that occurred, I think, because they were inexperienced. They, they overcommitted to something. But did they screw up because they were trying to, like, again, trying to do what a lot of gaming companies do now, which is just make a quick buck on a game or make as much money as they can out of a big IP like Halo? No. If they wanted to make as much money as they could out of Halo, MCC wouldn't have entered their minds. You want to make each individual Halo an anniversary edition and sell that off at 60 to 80 bucks a pop, right? Halo 2 anniversary, Halo 3 anniversary, Halo Reach anniversary, Halo 4 anniversary. Like, you just want to keep churning those things out, keep making that money. No, they, they took the opposite route and they said, let's make something the fans are really going to love. Because, face it, we screwed up Halo 4, guys. Let's try to do things right by the fans and come out with this this awesome totally all-in collection and and again the theory I remember when it came out it was it was a great idea right all of your halo games all together in one that's not something made by a company that's that's doing evil or, or, or trying to screw over a franchise that's a company that's trying to service its fans above all else and that's what I see from 343 is absolutely they're a company that make mistakes big ones but they're also a company that loves these games and you can tell it just by talking to any of them watching their interviews watch the sprint watch any of that stuff they care about making good halo games they don't care about just churning out a game every year to make a quick dollar like again microtransactions in halo could have been a really gross thing that just like sapped the series of all of its soul but i think the way that they handled it was actually really great and that's what i see in everything that 343 does i see naivete and i see mistakes but i also see a 
lot of heart and a lot of love for the series as a whole, which is not what happens with all studios. Look at Destiny right now. Look at Bungie and what's going on over there. Making games is a business, and you can't fault anyone for that, but there's absolutely a line to be drawn, and I think Halo is far from crossing it. So, am I sucking up to 343? Yeah, it might be a little bit. It might seem like that way. And if that's how you feel, then I'm sorry. But I think that, honestly, they are, at their heart, a good company. Yeah, they've screwed up. They've screwed up big time. And uh, Halo 4 and MCC are ones. And they'll fully admit that. But it's not like they're not putting in the work. It's not like they're not trying to, to put out great Halo games. And I think Halo 5 is, is a big sign of that. And everything they've done with the franchise, from the free DLC to, uh, to just the... the the look and feel and style of Halo 5 really feels like they're coming back around and figuring this out. So, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this incredible victory brought on mostly by me and maybe a little bit by Wardog. <laughs> and I will see you next time. And I, uh, I, I think it's really fun. And, and the reason that I got into it was because I was looking for something to fill my time that kind of reminded me of a similar gameplay experience. I wanted something multiplayer, something that was, you know, 5v5, and something that was, you know, balanced.